Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of The First 30. This is a, a new series here on Telltale Gaming, and I just want to put a heads up. Uh, I tried doing Spider like I said I would, and my capture card cannot record the uh, the low resolution of the the PS1. So even though it does capture from the PS2, putting in a PS1 there, it just can't read that really that 360p or whatever it is. So that's unfortunate. But uh, here we are instead with a game that I've owned for a while now and never actually played, and that's the Scorpion King for the GameCube. Um. I have no idea what to expect. I've never seen any footage of it. It's just something I have in my collection because I saw it for a couple of bucks. And uh, I, what, the way this works is I will start the timer once I get to the gameplay starts. So whatever opening cutscenes are, we'll watch. Unless it's copyrighted footage, then I'll skip it um, in the edit at least. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how we go here. I'll press start, and I guess a new game. Let's see what we got here. The scorpion, a perfect predator. It is silent, fast, and deadly. The poison in its tail can kill a man. But not even the scorpion is totally safe from harm. In a fertile valley in the mountains, various nomadic tribes ceased their wanderings and established the Kingdom of Akkad. The Akkadians train under the eyes of King Ornhet to learn the arts of combat. One day, they will take the test that will prove their worth as assassins. Today, one among their number will face this test. <laughs> Let me help you to your feet, brother. A man named Matthias. All right, that's the first cutscene done. Oh wait, no, it isn't. All right, that was a uh, awkward. Okay, this is the first gameplay, so I'm gonna hit the uh, start on the timer now. Timer is counting down, and uh, I'm just gonna sit that here on the side of the couch. And uh, all right, so C stick is camera. That makes sense. Um, B is a headbutt and kick and punch, and I guess it just automatically combos. A is also that, collect any blood rubies you find, more bonuses you're gonna look. Um, oh god, big text wall, perform basic attacks, cool, whatever, I gotta defeat this guy, do I just hit the, yep, smash the buttons, done. Easy. And now there's a gate, would you like to fight the training again? Uh, no, I think I'm good, I think I worked it out. I love this just headbutting through a... Headbutting through these can I open doors? No. What do these buttons do? Apparently X and Y do nothing. A also interacts with things, that makes sense. Camera change. Okay, so this I guess is gonna be like a brawler, I I suppose. Now apparently I can't use any attack buttons. They've stopped working for some reason. Um okay, left bumper blocks. That's cute. And I guess that's where I have to go after I defeat this guy or something? How do I get in here? Is there a, ga a gap? Okay. So you only get a limited control of the camera when you're not inside there, which is weird too. Well, that was about to tell me something and I forgot what it was. Do I have to- is it block? Yes. I did it. I blocked. Am I doing it? I can't attack him, so I guess I just have to block him. Okay! No block half the damage, you do have a shield, blah blah blah. Breakout moves are performed by hitting any attack button while blocking. Okay. Oh, I see. Is that all I have to do, is just knock him over a bunch of times? This is not a thrilling tutorial. This is... bad. Like, this is gonna take forever, like, I literally just... It won't let me do any other attacks, I just have to use this attack until he's... down. Yay. I did it. No, I'm good. I think I learned how to do it. Thanks. I, I will say, look at this walk cycle. Walk cycle's actually not that bad, but his run cycle... I guess that's kind of how a bulky man would run, but it just, it looks... It looks like the Hulk or something. It's ridiculous. So yeah, the whole point of this series is basically to play the first 30 minutes of a game, and then from that I'll decide if it's a... 
worth playing the rest of it at all. What are you going to teach us this time? Grabbing and jump attacks. Press the A and buttons together. Perform a grab attack. You must be near an enemy. Hit the X button to jump. Ooh, if you hit the A or B buttons while you're you perform a jumping attack. Only grab and jump attacks. Also try finding any hidden objects. Okay, that worked. Ugh. Oh yeah. Well. Hitting the A and B button at the same time is pretty awkward. Maybe it's not as bad on the PS2 controller, but on the uh, GameCube controller at least, because the two buttons are such different sizes. That's a little... A little awkward. I will say that. I don't know why it would make a... Like, it just makes more sense to me to have a shoulder button as a grab instead of a... Two buttons at the same time. Weird. Anyway, we passed that. Another tutorial successfully dealt with. I wonder if we'll actually get to play any real game in this 30 minutes. <laughs> I wonder. Alright, now what are you going to teach us? Okay, I can throw things. Or at least I could if I wasn't... Oh good, that unlocked the bonus feature. It'd be nice, like a lock-on feature would be good. So at the moment I'm supposed to be throwing stuff at that guy. And I can't even fucking see him half the time. Like, where the fuck did he go? There? Alright. Do I really have to kill him this way? Is this seriously what I have to do? Oh my god. This is not good. Ah! Ah! At least they haven't stopped. I love you, Dwayne Johnson, but... You're a kind of an awkward mess to try to... Control. I'll give you that. I haven't even seen the movie The Scorpion King, actually. Is it any good? I remember, like, the Mummy movies being okay. And I know The Scorpion King was, like, a spin-off of the... Of the Mummy... Mummy films. No, I'm good. I don't ever want to do that again. Thanks, though. Alright, what's this do? Why perform special attacks? These cause a lot of damage you can often hit enemies all around you, but they drain stamina. Okay. That must be what my blue is. Okay, yeah, blue is stamina. That makes sense. Do you have to wait for it to re refill? I'm all out of stamina. <laughs> How do I refill it? Oh no. I can't... I can't do anything now. I'm all out. I'm all out of stamina. There's a special dash attack as well as a special breakout move. Defeat the train using only special attacks. If you run a stem and I try searching the area for power-ups. Well, I did, but I can't attack or pick any of these up. You stupid, stupid game. Oh, he can smash them for me. Okay. Alright. Let's kick him again. Ugh. Take that. Alright, I need you to smash this for me, guy. Can you do that? <sighs> That's not what I wanted. This is... <laughs> so awkwardly designed. I love movie tie-in games for this very, this very reason. Like, I love how the time limitations they have just lead to just bizarre choices and compromises. No, smash the fucking pot. What the game does is, it only lets you use the attack that it's assigned for that part of the tutorial, so I can't actually smash these pots myself. I can't pick them up, I can't punch them until they break. All I can do is try to lure this guy into them, and try to get him to smash them for me. Just break the pot. Break it! Thank you. I did it, I learned how to use the attack. Oh, I need to do this again. Come on, smash, smash it. All right, now that's done. So far the impression this game has left on me. Oh good. Oh, now I can fight everyone, oh good. I just have to beat everyone, I guess. Oh, now I'm dead. Just kick him. Just kick him in the face. 
I'm so because I've been playing Dark Souls two a lot, so going to like a combat system like this is just awful. It's about as nuanced as a something that isn't very nuanced. Combo. <laughs> oh my god. It's the animations that make it too. The animations are so bad. <laughs> Come on. Let me kick you in the dick. No, I would not like to fight everyone again. Let me out. Let me the fuck out. Uh, I'm not gonna kill both G Sup and other guy. <laughs> oh, this game is awful. Oh god. There's also very little reason to use anything but the special attack. Like, if you got stamina, just... Stamina the bastards, because it just... Does a better job, I guess. Yeah, Timeless Classic, this ain't. Grab him! Grab him! Oh, I can't, because he's too busy... I guess I should block more, that's something I'm not doing enough of. Yeah, now you just special punch him in the... Alright. One of them's down. We're doing alright. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it through the tutorial. Through the tutorial, at least. I just gotta beat up Stickman. He's not that intimidating, it turns out. You gotta get up. Yeah, damn straight. My fuck with Dwayne Johnson. Unskippable cutscenes, so that's gonna eat up some of the time. Hey, we're finally on an actual mission now. 15 minutes left. We're halfway through and we finally get to start the game properly. Alright. Um... I guess... I guess... Visually, the game isn't entirely horrible. I've certainly played worse looking... games on the system. Uh, so it doesn't look great. But... It's, it's possible. For what it is, I think. I guess now I just gotta work out... Oh, there's the random guys. Okay. I'm not a very good assassin. I've already been found. Personally, I think the rock's a little too big to be an assassin. Oh my god, did those guys just, like, glitch out? Ugh. I do hope I get out my hands on a weapon. I know you can use weapons in this game. I don't want to just be punching guys the whole time. I want to... I want to be able to, like, cut some dudes up. Get me a sword or something. And a shield. I know, because uh, in the tutorial it said that you could use a shield, so... Obviously, I'll be able to find one somewhere. At some point. I'm just gonna smash all these vases. Cause the red I don't know what those do, that hasn't been explained to me at all. Oh, hi. Um You're dead now, this guy's dead. <laughs> They're just dropping out of the sky. It's like the game doesn't know what to do with them, so it just spawns them out of the fucking they just appear out of nowhere. I saw a, yeah, I just came up, that's all that was for, it was just for a gem, alright, and I can't destroy that, nope, ugh, alright, nothing in there of any importance, punch these guys, maybe, if, if you want to, be nice, where the fuck are these guys coming from, I, oh, I have to kill all the enemies before I can get in, of course, well, I will say the game's not, like, broken hard. I've played a lot of, like, licensed games that are just stupid hard from the get-go. At least this is... ...pretty easy. I mean, there's absolutely no nuance to this fighting system at all. It's just mash the A and B button, and apparently it... ...that's all you need to do to... ...to do anything. There's no combos. Okay, that's like a checkpoint. That makes sense. Well, we're not saving, because I'm never playing this again. And they all... Oh, wait, that guy's got a sword! Yeah, gimme, 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 gimme. Punch him, punch him, punch him, get that, get that sword, I want it. Oh shit, that guy just, that, fell, I, oh, I'm on fire, oh crap, I'm almost dead. I'm still on fire. Can I pick that up? No. Well, that sucks. Oh, what the fuck, more guys, where are these guys coming from? I really want that sword. If I can get a weapon before before I, this timer runs out, that I would be really happy. Oh, for fuck's sake, you serious? This went from being like not that hard to like stupidly just spammy enemies very quickly. And the fact that they spawn behind you 
is incredibly lame. I still love that headbutt move. I think that's fantastic. Our button apparently doesn't seem to do anything, which is odd to me. Um, whoa! That guy's huge! Is that glitch or is he actually supposed to be that big? So it looks just kind of like the game accidentally made the model, like, huge for some reason. He doesn't seem any tougher than a regular enemy, he's just taller for some weird reason. Or was he a boss? Oh, he was a boss. Well... <laughs> there you go. Ugh, nothing in there. Bunch of random doors. That's a pet peeve of mine in games, doors that do a... Hey, a shield! Nice. We got something, I'd rather a weapon, to be honest, but uh... I'll take a shield. Uh, I hate doors that don't do anything. They are a massive pet peeve of mine. Right. The shield's actually pretty useful. I'll take it. So you would think, looking at this, that maybe it's like a God of War game. And it's not really. If I could describe this combat... Um, how would I describe it? It almost feels like a plat... Like a, the, the combat in a plat... Like a Nintendo 64 platformer. You know, like in Banjo-Kazooie, you just hit the B button to like swing Banjo's arms around over and over again. Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of. It's not a proper combat system at all, it's just a... This whole game kind of feels like a, like a bad, broken platformer. But, it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be, which is... Oh, my shield broke. Well, that's kind of neat. It makes sense, it was made of wood. Um... I was actually expecting it to be a lot worse than it is. I mean, this is playable. I still want to see if there's anything across here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Platform and ninja. If this was a platform, the big difference between this and a big pl and a platformer is that the jumping in this is awful. Okay, I guess that those guys are just really big. That's not a glitch at all. Well, now I know. Something else to not is remotely challenging. Eh, 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 eh. I will say it's getting very repetitive very, very quickly. Very quickly. And that you're a terrible assassin. The fact that you've got so many people running towards you means that you've fucked up your, your job, basically. The whole point of an assassin is to get in without being spotted and take care of business. And this guy, Dwayne Johnson here, is so busy, like... Oh, a new enemy. A dog. Well, that's a little... A little sad. I always feel bad killing dogs in games. Um, yeah. Dwayne Johnson's not a very good assassin. He's good at killing people in this. But he's not a good assassin, because he's about as stealthy as an elephant. So we didn't open this gate yet. There are enemies remaining. Okay. I saw that it opened something else somewhere else. Wait, is that where it just came from? Is this somewhere new? Oh, that's where I just came from. Well, at least the enemies don't respawn, I guess. I guess the backtracking is in place for the, uh, so you can collect the items. Can I actually hit one of these with a pot? No. I'd like to be able to do that at least once. I will say that the little, uh, the way when you're blocking you can do like a little the little sweeping kicks, actually kind of neat. That's a good workaround for characters that are blocking that I could see done better in other games, or would like to see done better in other games, because that's actually a pretty neat idea. So I'll give credit where credit's due, I like that. Ooh, a chest. Hey, Now we're talking. So I guess now I have this, more enemies will spawn so I can get through. Oh, nope, now this is open apparently. It was closed just so I could get my bronze sword. I got a sword and all they're doing is blocking. Great. <laughs> I seem to be doing worse with the sword than I was by <laughs> with my bare hands. The combat's just absolutely just turned to shit all of a sudden. Literally, getting the sword has actually made it harder. That's... Odd, to say the least. 
Getting a weapon should be a power trip. Alright, I've got a ranged guy attacking me. I'm gonna take care of him first. Oh, he's gonna run away. Never mind. Is there health in here? I need health. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Game over. Continue. Yes. The time's not up yet. Where am I back to? Where am I? What is this? Do I have to get my sword again? I don't want it. Oh my god, I'm back here again? Oh my god. Okay, this game which went from being like, eh. I went from being eh, okay, to fucking infuriating in the span of about two seconds. That checkpoint is way too far back, considering how much I have achieved since then. If there should be a checkpoint anywhere, it should be at the beginning of each new room that you go into, not... Whatever the fuck that was. Ugh. Just doesn't end. They just keep coming. You can't really attack them. Oh, you can attack them while they're down. Well, that's something at least. Oh my god. I just threw that guy across the room. Eh, come on. Take these guys. You can do it. You can take them. Just kick them. Just kick them in the dick. Kick them in the dick. Stomp. There's... So you can sometimes attack them when they're on the ground, but not always. There's a, I guess, special spot you have to hit or something. I don't actually know. I know hitting the dog seems to be pretty hard. You can't use punch attacks on the dog, you can only kick it in the face. And I hate the way it cheaply just spawns the enemies in from like off screen, like that's... That's garbage. That's garbage design. I've, I've seen other games do that as well, and I fucking hate it. It's a lot, I think, more criminal in first-person shooters. I've had first-person shooters that do it, but... God, I hate that. I'd have to come back in here again and recollect these little red... Alright, there's the alarm. We are done. So... I'm just gonna put the controller down. So, the Scorpion King on the GameCube, do I recommend it? Uh, no. Is that the worst thing I've ever played? No. But I feel like it has absolutely zero value in the same age, and there's nothing to go back here to learn. There was a couple of neat features, I did like the, the way you could block and then do a sweeping kick. I like that, I could see that being used in other games cleverly, but that's it. Everything else about this is as cookie cutter as it gets, and uh, yeah, it's just completely average, so... Yeah, that's the first 30 minutes of the Scorpion King. <laughs> And, and that's a thumbs down from me. So uh, thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed this, let me know. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll work on the format a little bit more going forward. This was the first episode after all. But uh, thanks again. And uh, I'm not going to play any more of this game because that sucks. So bye. Peace out and have a good one.